What's going on stackers? So in this video we're going to be talking about my new passive income project which is building niche websites. Now if you're new here my name's Paddy and every other day I like to bring out videos teaching you how to make money with nothing more than your internet connection and your laptop. So go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. So, building niche websites, why do I want to do this? Well, over time, it's going to become really passive. Now, up front, you do have to do quite a lot of work to make it passive, just like this. So, this is my kdp low content book publishing business and i made thirty four thousand dollars last year and this year so far altogether completely passive now i do have to create books to upload to amazon kdp but once i've done that amazon takes care of everything making the sale process and the royalties really passive now when it comes to creating niche websites once you've put in quite a lot of work creating the articles and once they're ranked in google say you've got 30 to 50 articles and some of them are ranked bringing in that traffic it becomes really passive so i don't expect my niche website to take off straight away this is a long-term play i'm gonna keep doing it for a good eight months or six months to a year before i figure out if i want to carry on doing it but it's just long term you should always have that in mind <coughs> sorry now i actually made a video about this quite a while ago i think it was around eight months now just here may 22nd new income stream that i'm super psychic cited about now some people took that to think that i was showing a brand new income stream well it wasn't it's niche websites they've been around for a very long time it was just a new income stream that i wanted to start so i've actually finally started it i've got the website set up which i'm going to run through in a second and i already have a couple of articles up and one in the process of being written so if you're interested in watching this video i will link it right there in the right hand corner so you can come through and watch it now on to the website so what i'm going to do is completely blur out the domain name and the name of the website so you can't see that main reason being i don't want my numbers to be skewed so i don't want to release the website that i'm doing here on the youtube channel then people go and having a look and messing up all my numbers i want to see what i can do with completely organic search results now i will release what the site is called within probably three four months something like that so you're going to have to wait a little while just to see what it's called i probably am going to release the niche because I want to explain about that in a second. Now, when it came to actually coming up with the idea, setting up the WordPress site and having articles on there, from start to finish or till now, that only took around three days. Now, it did help that I had previous WordPress experience, so I knew exactly how to buy it, but literally from the idea till now, only three days. So what made it even simpler was I've gone into a niche that I know a lot about and what I've also been learning even more about recently and what I'm currently doing and that is keto. So keto lifestyle or the keto diet. I've been doing this personally myself over the last month and I've been researching a hell of a lot about the keto diet. So it's a perfect fit for me to now go and make a website because keto is something that i really enjoy doing i enjoy researching it and it's something that i've been doing a lot of so it's kind of like a hobby so if you were to start a niche website the best way to do it is to look at your hobbies your interests anything that excites you 
and build a website around that. That way, you're going to be able to do it long term and it's going to be a lot easier. See, if you went into a niche that you're not really passionate about or you don't really enjoy, you're going to struggle keeping up with that website because you don't really enjoy that topic. Anyway, where am I learning all the information that I need? Well, like I said previously, I already had an understanding of WordPress from years ago, how to install the themes, plugins that I need, and all that jazz. But I'm also learning quite a lot just from Income School's free videos over on YouTube. So if you're interested in doing uh, niche websites, come and check them out because they have a lot of great information. Now, I actually forgot all about starting a niche website and I accidentally come across all these videos again the other day, ended up binge watching a hell of a lot of them and thought, why the hell am I not actually doing this? So that's one of the reasons why I actually started it. And then, like I said, from having the idea to having my website up with a few articles on it only took two days. See, I already thought of the topic. I thought, what could I build a niche website around? I thought keto, because I really enjoy keto. I do a lot of research about it and things like that. So then I come up with the name of the website, went and brought the domain name. And then I went and set up my website which only takes a few clicks to install WordPress on your domain. Now, it does also help that I already pay for hosting. I have for years, even when I wasn't even using it or making any money. I've been paying for my hosting since, I think, around 2013, 2014. So I already had that in place to where I could set up my website. Then I installed a theme, made it look okay, and then wrote one article. So if we actually go over to here, we can see I've started getting a few page views. Now, most of these page views are going to be me because I'm constantly on my website. But if we scroll down to here, we can see that I'm actually getting a couple of new um, visitors to my website. Most of this, again, is going to be me because this is freshly started. But if we go down to here, we can see one from Japan, China, seven from the US. One referral or top referral so far is from this, which is a search engine and it's a Chinese one, which is really weird. But these are my stats so far from only having my website up for a few days. Now, I'm guessing... I'm not too sure because I'm still learning myself that as this is a brand new website, then all of these or most of these are probably going to be bots crawling my website just to index them. That's my thoughts anyway. I could be completely wrong. Anyway, these are the stats so far. And if we go over here to posts, you can see that I only have two. Now, again, I'm actually going to blur out the post names just because I don't want everyone knowing what my website's called just yet. Now, the first article was written by me, honestly, completely crap, and that's when I realised that I really don't like writing. I didn't, in, didn't like it in school, I don't like it now, so I thought, hey, I'm just going to outsource this process. So I have two articles written, the first one from me, the second one was outsourced, and I also have a third which is being outsourced right now. So currently, how am I outsourcing my articles? Well, I'm using iWriter. Now, I'm not always going to use iWriter. I'm using them now because they're quite cheap and cheerful. And if we scroll down, I can get a thousand word article written for $11.50 and a 1500 for $21. So really, really cheap. Now, I was watching reviews on people using iWriter who said it wasn't really that great. So I went through and actually just ordered an article myself and it came out pretty well now one thing to note is with your articles you want to do the research yourself so you know what to write about or what your outsourcer can write about and then you want a real detailed outline on how you want that article so 
doing that, you can get a fairly decent written article. Now, I'm not just going to get this, plop it up on my website and that's it. I am going to proofread it and see where I can just make a couple of improvements just to make it a bit better. So like I said, I've already ordered one and I'm in the process of having another article written. So this is in my manage orders. And if we go down to here, we can see a thousand word articles costing me $11.50 and this is the one that I'm just getting outsourced right now. Now when it actually comes to writing your articles you don't want to just write on topics that you think are going to do well. You still have to do a bunch of research to find the topics within your niche that you can have the articles written on. So it's very similar to selling and creating a low content books in the sense that we're finding what people are searching for and creating articles around that. So with creating books, we're finding niches and search terms that people are searching for, and then we go and create that book. So this is very similar. I'm doing research on Google, seeing what people are actually searching for, and then having articles written on that topic. Now, further down the line, I am going to be bringing out a lot more videos about this, the more I get into this, and so forth. If you want to see more videos around this, building niche websites and everything in between, then drop a comment down below letting me know. Now, why did I actually decide to start doing a niche website instead of creating books or creating audio books or doing merch or more print on demand. Well, I'm still going to be doing my books. I really enjoy creating them. I now have over 3,000 live on Amazon. But I also want a little business which is completely separate from everything else. So with my niche website, that's not even going to be connected to print on demand, low content books, audiobooks or anything like that. Plus, I've always liked the idea of having a niche website that creates me passive income. I also like the idea of having a portfolio of niche websites that build me or make me passive income. Now, the best way to go around this is sticking at it to six months to a year to see what the results are that you can get. See, with here, with all my low content books, let's just change that to earnings. So with my low content books, I've been doing this just for over a year now. I've got some pretty good results. I've built this up now to where the point is that I can start a different income stream. So most people learn something and then they think, yep, yeah, I'm going to go and do that. And they don't actually do much in that business. Then they see something else. Oh, I'm going to go do that. Then they see something else without giving it enough time to actually build something. That's also known as shiny object syndrome which I have actually suffered from in the past. Now, another reason why I like niche websites is down the line when it's actually creating an income, say 300, 500 a month, you can then use that to fully outsource everything. So you can have someone outsource, well, you can outsource the articles, you can outsource someone to manage your website and upload all the articles as well. And then you can just literally use that income, reinvest it, to grow that business. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions whatsoever, don't forget to drop them down below. I do plan on creating a lot more videos over time, showing my progress on how my niche website is doing. Now, again, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.